I have just found one of the best AI Copilot toolkits out there. Introducing Copilot Kit. This is an open source Copilot platform that lets you build and create AI enabled applications as you can integrate AI into your own application. A copilot is a GPT brain that is deeply integrated into an application. This is a perfect copilot as it can be integrated into your own app as well as letting you use RAG function calls inside your own apps. Copilot started with coding tools like GitHub Copilot, but over the past year, the tech giants have been building advanced copilots into all sorts of applications from PowerPoint to Excel to Salesforce, Einstein Copilot, and now with Copilot Kit, you're able to integrate Copilot Kit into your own application, which would enable you to build and create further with it. Just take a look at this demo, which shows what you can do with the Copilot chat component, as well as then taking a look at the Copilot text area component. Easy. Uh, so here we have an open source application called Rowy, uh, which is spreadsheet meets database management. Uh, great application, should go give him a star. I'm using it because I can show you what making changes to a real application looks like. Uh, so this example is a little bit meta. We have here a spreadsheet with Copilot Kit use cases. Now, traditionally, when I would come as a user to this spreadsheet or to any spreadsheet, I would have to do all the work of understanding what's going on. Uh, with a Copilot, I can tap into GPT intelligence to help me out. So let's ask you a question. Um, are there um, patterns that emerge across Copilot Kit use cases? Now, Copilot Kit hooks into the application state, both on the front end and on the back end. So everything I'm asking gets integrated um, into the question. So we see here, okay, we have integration with existing tools, right? ERP systems, software, email clients, design tools. And productivity enhancements. Okay, great. So let's say we want to dig dig, dig deeper into these. We want to put those in a table. So say, um, great. Let's move these to a new table. Now, Copilot Kit. It's not just one sided. It has two sided interaction with the application layer. Again, both across front end and on back end. Um, so I'll just give it a second here to execute. All right, and there we have it. Copilot Kit use patterns, AI powered assistance, developer efficacy, integration of these and tools. This would have taken me traditionally a good 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes to come up with, and now it's just done. Here's another building block provided by Copilot Kit. It's called Copilot Text Area, and it's a drop in replacement for any text area in your application that provides AI powered text editing uh, automatically. So, one of the features you get here is auto completion, just like in GitHub Copilot and um, Gmail. So, dear Robert and Sarah, say it was maybe it was a pleasure or something that, yeah, especially because we previous call. Now, let's, uh, another feature we get here is insertions informed by context. So, we can do uh, bring this context here and say recap uh, the client's top three pain points from the last call, which is given with this gong call transcript. And we see here, it's actually going back and forth. And, and getting this information for us. Uh, and let's say we wanted to do this in bullet point form. So put it in bullet point form. Great. Uh, you know, we can do add next steps, so on and so forth. Uh, just cut a lot of the cognitive overhead from the equation. Now, wasn't that amazing? Copilot Kit is going to empower you as a developer to build and create with AI, which is going to usher in a new era of intelligent application development. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned. Throughout today's video, we're going to be exploring this further in detail, how you can get started, how you can install it, and so much more. So with that thought, let's get straight into the video. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month, we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. 
Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Copilot Kit. Now, this is an amazing Copilot that offers a Copilot native UX component like Copilot Chat, Copilot Sidebar, you have Copilot Pop Up, and so much more. Now, these components are fully customizable using CSS or headless variants. However, the real magic lies in the Copilot engine. Now, as an app developer, you can establish entry points between the Copilot engine and your application. These entry points include application state, where you can integrate the front end plus the back end or even a third party. And this will allow the AI Copilot to access everything as the end user sees. The application interaction is also a really amazing component as this is something that you can access through plain TypeScript code, front end plus back end. And this is where the chatbot isn't actually limited to just text. It can take actions within your application on your behalf as a user. Now, there's also a purpose specific LM chain where you can equip the Copilot engine with skills such as research a particular topic on the internet. And these skills encode as LM chains and they're automatically invoked as needed to assist with users in completing any sort of task. Let's take a look at what you can actually build with this AI Copilot because you have many components as to what you can integrate into this Copilot kit. Firstly, you have context, actions, and knowledge. Starting off with context, you're able to build smart Copilots that can understand context. And we can see that with this example where you can provide it financial data and it can respond and provide you with best with the best ability to interpret and utilize the expense data in this case. Now, in this Example, the goal is to build a smart copilot that can comprehend context. And to do that, you need to go over to the GitHub repo to understand this. This is where you can implement the use make copilot readable function. And this will give the front end state to the copilot. And this is a function that is being provided with this copilot kit package. And you can basically import it for this purpose. Now, within that page script, you can see that the expense data is being obtained with the use expense hook and the use make copilot readable hook is utilizing to make the expense data understandable to the copilot now why might this be so like useful well the reason is because it's enhancing the ability to provide context aware assistance within this application this basically means that when you build applications with this copilot kit you're going to be able to have the ability to provide context awareness and have that assistance within your own application in this next component, we're going to take a look at the actions, which is able to increase productivity and engagement with the actions. Actions are beneficial for developers because it's able to streamline and automate common tasks within your app. This is by defining actions, and this will allow you as a developer to encapsulate complex functionality into reusable components. This not only increases productivity, but also improves code's reliability as well as the readability. Additionally, from all of this, Actions can also enhance user engagement, and this is by enabling seamless integration with an app. And this will allow you as a user or a developer to perform any task efficiently with minimal effort. This next component is knowledge, and this is where it introduces retrieval augmented generation within the Copilot kit. And this is where it emphasizes its capability to generate content from any data source. Now, in this provided code snippet, its essentials components are like the document pointer or the use make Copilot readable. And these are the functions that are provided from the GitHub repo. Now, why might RAG knowledge with Copilot Kit be useful for developers? Well, this is because knowledge of RAG within Copilot Kit would definitely expand the capabilities of AI-powered assistants. By leveraging RAG, you as a developer can access and utilize a vast array of data sources as well as documents within your own application. This will enable the Copilot Kit to provide contextually relevant suggestions, code snippets, or context generated based on specific needs of what you want it to basically develop. Now, as you saw from the start of the video, you're also able to use this component of AI enabled text editing. And this is where it can help you with debugging, auto completion. You can insert and edit certain things. And this is by giving it context as well as having it so that it auto first drafts for any input. This is something that will definitely increase your productivity and efficiency when you're writing as well as prompting certain things. So how can you get started? Well, first things first, you need to make sure that you have React installed. 
Once you have done that, you need to make sure that you have a code editor. So in this case, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code as my IDE. Once you have that installed, you need to make sure that you prepare your API key from OpenAI so that you can implement this in the back end and have it basically generate different content with OpenAI's large language model. So once you have these three things ready, we can proceed forward. So first things first, open up your IDE. So in this case, if you're following along with me, you're going to be using Visual Studio Code and you want to click on terminal, create a new terminal. Once you have created a new terminal, you want to click on this drop down and tip, click on Git Bash. Once you have done that, you need to first start off and create a basic React application. This is by simply typing in MPX, create dash react dash app and the name of your file so you can name it whatever you want in this case i'll just name it copilot and then i'm going to click enter once it has finished installing what you want to do is go into the name of your folder that you just created so you want to type in cd and the name of what you just created so in this case i'm going to do cd copilot and click enter once i'm inside this go to the github repository and this is where you can go here and copy this command, which is to install the Copilot kit. So copy this, go back to Visual Studio Code. Once you are here, you can then paste it in and then click enter. This will take a couple of minutes to install Copilot kit onto that file that you just created. Now, what you can do is open up the file that you just created and we can start working with Copilot kit. So I'm going to open this folder up and I'll be right back. After you have created your basic React app and installed Copilot within it, you can then go to the CRC, which is the source files, and click on app.js. This is where we're going to be playing around with it. And what you can do is go to the GitHub repo and check out some of the things that they have. These are all the building blocks. You're also able to take a look at it in the docs, which shows a lot more details as to how you can implement certain functions. If you go down a little bit, you can take a look and copy the examples, which showcases how you can get started with the Copilot sidebar, as well as the Copilot text area, which is a drop in text area replacement with auto completions, AI insertions, edits, and generate from scratch. And this is indexed on data that is provided to the Copilot. So I went along and I started my React server or my React app with my local host and it's super simple to do so. What you can do is just simply type in npm start in app.js, but we don't have anything implemented such as the sidebar or the text area. And to do that, it's very simple. You can go back to the GitHub repo. You can copy the main segment of this and you're gonna be able to implement it into your VS code and you can get started. Now, in this case, we don't have a lot of time to showcase how you can integrate this with the app. This is where you would need to go to their Discord and this is where you would need to read through their docs to showcase how you can get started with that. But in this case, I'm just gonna briefly go over as to how you can implement this into the app.js file. So I went along and added the code and this is for the sidebar for the Copilot kit. And every time you implement any change in the dot or the app.js file, you need to make sure that you save it or you won't be able to see the edits that are being made. And in this case, we have the sidebar already implemented and you can start chatting with it and ask it things. And obviously it's not going to work until I integrate it with an application, but you can see that this is a great start and this is how you can start implementing this Copilot kit into your own application. And that's basically it for today's video on Copilot Kit. This is a groundbreaking open source Copilot platform that's designed for building AI enabled applications. I truly recommend you check this out because it will be a valuable resource for any sort of developer. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you guys haven't already. Make sure you follow us on Twitter which I truly recommend you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.